Hello everyone, I'm Fizz. Fuzz is not here today, but today I'm going to be taking you all on a journey. What kind of journey, you ask? A journey from rags to riches, or noob to pro, if you like, in starving artists on Roblox. So I'm going to be showing you how to get from this to this. So this is my main account. You may have seen this in other videos, but uh, yeah, I have all my art on this side, so these up to, you know, where the sign says my art, all this is mine. Um, I have uh, some Animal Crossing stuff. I'm trying to see if I if I can sell some Animal Crossing stuff right now. Um, and I did, I did sell this particular painting before, I just recreated it. And I want to see if I can get a little bit more for it. Um, and I also did this treasure chest here, which uh, I think is pretty cool, but maybe we'll lower the price at some point. But at, at, at a certain point, you know, you don't really worry too much about how fast you sell because once you start getting a bunch of art coming in, sorry, once you, once you get a bunch of art sold and you build up your pending Robux, then you don't really care if it takes, you know, three days for something to sell because you've, you've always got that constant stream of Robux coming in. So you can see on the leaderboard here, I have 1988 sold and 473 bought. So, you know, and this is just maybe like a month. I probably could have done better or done it faster, but you know, it took me a while to figure out how, how things work. Over here is other people's art that I bought. And you really just have to look to see if you can find stuff that people are selling for relatively cheap. You know, they're just kind of enjoying drawing and they just want to make some Robux. So find people who maybe don't have a lot of sales uh, and see if you can get stuff for cheap. So like these for 10, um, I think are very worth it. And somebody will eventually buy these for 35. You just have to be patient. This one, I'm, maybe I'm not sure. I, I don't know if this is scripted or not. I try not to. I mean, I, I, I avoid scripted art like a plague. I don't like buying scripted art. I'm not sure if this is scripted or not. It could be Photopia, but either way, I try and avoid stuff like that. But this one was cute, so I thought, you know, I'll take a chance on it. This one was this one was also um, really good. I like I like the use of, of brushes in this one. That's why I bought this one. And this pie, um, I saw somebody make this. And they had a different version of it, and I really, really wanted it. So I asked her if she could make me another one, and she did. And so, yeah, that one's there. Um, I like looking at it. So I don't mind if, you know, it takes a while to sell. But, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, we'll go back to the other account now, and I will take you through the first steps. So the way we're going to do this is I have an alt account in which I have never played Starving Artists. I literally have a bacon avatar. You can see I have zero sold art and I have no paintings whatsoever in my inventory. So this is literally starting from scratch. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to get from this to what I have on my main account, which is about 2000 Robux of sold art and about almost 500 in bought. And yeah, so just showing you what to do to get started, what kind of paintings you should focus on, keeping it simple, keeping your prices low. This is kind of an addition to the complete guide that Fuzz and I did earlier. But I actually want to show you guys how you can go about doing this. And this is going to be without spending real money on Robux. It's going to be a process to, to get up to the point where I start actually getting Robux in my account, but that's besides the point really. You can make Robux without actually getting Robux into your account. You can you can literally start making Robux on the first day. Once you start getting the Robux in your account, you can then reinvest it back into the game by buying things like more canvases or frame colors, you know, that kind of thing. I would I would recommend starting off with uh, getting canvases first because the canvases will help you uh, be able to have more art on display. But what I would suggest is not going overboard and um, having like, you know, this many canvases that are blank because then you're, you're not going to be able to have anything on display and it's just going to be really hard and overwhelming for you. So I would suggest start small and only buy canvases for up to what you can support. The other thing that I do is I generally have you know, half my half my display with my own art and the other half of the display with other people's art that I buy and resell. But we'll get into all that later. But what I would suggest when you first start out and you have something like this with literally nothing is, you know, focus on making simple art 
that you sell for 5, 10, 15, you know, up to 20, depending on the quality of your art, people will buy it if they see, you know, that you uh, are making original stuff and, you know, you're not, uh, you're not, you're not using scripts like this, you know, um, things like that. Just, you know, try and avoid that kind of stuff. Google images is okay. I, I do use references on Google Images, but I try not to do the things that everyone, everyone else is doing. I try and do things that are more original, uh, quote unquote original, because I mean, you are using references from Google, but you're not, you're not doing it like everybody else, you know, having the same old Pikachu or the same old whatever, it, whatever the case may be. So just try and find stuff that's not like at the top of the, of the Google search rankings. Um, when you look for pixel art, you know, pixel art 32 by 32, things like that. I try and look at more niche stuff, like things on random sites that, that show beadwork or things like that. It's, it's easier to, to get a feel for the spacing and stuff like that when you, when you look up things like that. I can show you some other examples, you know, after, but I think um, that that's a good way to go. You know, keep it simple, find stuff that's colorful and, and do things that take up the whole canvas. Don't just, you know, fill in like this much of the canvas and then the rest is all white. Even something as simple as like a solid background color or, you know, a background color with, with like a darker outline, you know, going into a brighter fill in the middle, those kinds of things work really well. So you can, you can, you can really um, make things a lot better by just adding little touches like that. So what I'd like to do first is I'm going to find myself an, a simple image that I can show you guys uh, that will be the first thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I will show you guys what, uh, what we're going to be working on here for the first picture. Okay, so I showed you the picture that I'm going to be doing. It's not going to be exactly what you see, but it's going to be something very similar. And the important thing is to just make your own background and use the tools that are available to you. Like, for example, the, the brushes here, that, that kind of makes the art stand out more and it shows that you put time and effort into it and it's not scripted. So I would suggest doing things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this picture real quick and then you guys can see how I do it in a speed draw. That's pretty much where I'm going to leave this one. And then I'm just going to go next and I'm going to call this. So I'm going to call that one done. I'm not going to put this up. Actually, I'll put it up, but I'll put it for, I'll put it not for sale for now. Cause I want to, I want to have a few pictures going. So I'm just going to leave that there and let people come check it out. And you know, they'll come and like it. See somebody like that almost instantly. It's not, it's not perfect. Maybe I went a little bit overboard with the background, but you know what? It's fine. It's cute and somebody will buy it. I would suggest not putting this up for more than five. You know, you can try maybe 10, but it's a very simple picture. It didn't take me very long to do. So I'm going to add two more and uh, I will make, I'll make a, a set of three that are completely done and then I will try and sell them all all at the same time and we'll see how it goes. So um, I'll be back when I have two more pictures. So as you can see, uh, we've got the, the same painting that we did 
on the speed paint. And I also have two other ones now, and I will show you them right now. So there's this one, which is Moon Rising Over Lake. And this one was based off of a reference, but the reference was quite a bit different. It was bigger. And the, uh, yeah, the landscape was a little bit different. The moon uh, took up overall less space on the picture, but, uh, you know, I made it different to kind of fit the 32 by 32 limitations. So that one's that. And then this one, um, so this one actually, I, I didn't spend, I think I spent maybe, I'd say 20 minutes on this one. And then over here, I went a little bit more complex and uh, yeah, made like a, I called it Horn Serpent. Um, this was also based on a reference and it was, the reference was also um, a lot bigger. So I basically just made it fit the frame again and I added my own, you know, custom background to make it a little bit more original. So yeah, those are the two images that we're going to be using in addition to this one. So now I don't have, oops, I don't have any game passes set up on this yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. And we will uh, reconvene after I've got that done. And if you guys want to know how to make game passes, uh, check out the complete guide that Fuzz and I did. And I will have that at the end of this video so you can check it out. And yeah, we'll uh, pick up after I set up my game passes. All right, everyone. So I've got the game passes made. I also changed my look, uh, my avatar, because in general, people in this game don't really trust Bacons. Because a lot of people will um, set up bots to uh, to sell stuff and they'll just be like scripting and they'll just have like a bacon with a random not random they, they all have the same booth description it's like you know they want to make make robux so they can donate to other bacons and stuff like that so uh i i, I figured i should probably change my avatar just to uh you know avoid that situation so i'm going to set these now um so this one in the middle is going to be the cheapest and I made a whole bunch of game passes, uh, you'll see in a second. So we got, yeah, so these are the ones that I'll usually do. Everything from two all the way up to ten. I don't do one because if you sell something for one, you won't get anything because you only get 60%. Roblox takes 30% and the game devs get 10%. So if you sell for one, you will get zero, basically. So yeah, I do everything from two to ten, and then I go 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, and then I go 75, 100, 150, 200, 250, 500. 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, 10,000. So that, that's where I'm going to stop. Obviously, uh, I don't envision me needing anything higher than probably the 100 or 150. Um, I generally don't sell stuff for more than that anyways on my other account. So the other ones are just in case, you know, somebody happens to come along and decides they want to just give you a whole bunch of Robux for whatever reason. But yeah. So this one, uh, I was thinking probably, I'm going to start at 10 just to see. And we don't, obviously, we don't have any effects or anything right now. I might actually try and grab some. Um, this one, we're going to do, uh, let's go with 20, I want to say. And this one over here, I will put up for, let's try 50, just to see. Okay, so that's done. So now it's just a waiting game. What I would suggest doing at this point, once you have three pieces of art that are all uh, set up with game passes, uh, just keep drawing more stuff so that you have something to replace when somebody buys something from you. So, But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run down here and I'm going to grab some effects and stuff and see. So we have uh, we can do two frames and two effects. So we got the toy frame, ooh, and the venom frame, nice, okay. The venom frame will look good on the dragon picture. And then let's do effect, confetti, and binary, okay. That's all we can afford right now. So I'm just gonna go back to my stand. I'm gonna put the venom effect on this guy. Oh, right, we have to uh, go in here and then cosmetics, and then venom, and then click on the art. And what about the effect? Maybe I'll put one of the effects on there too. Uh, cosmetics. Confetti would be weird. Binary maybe? Let's just put, yeah. Let's put that on there. And 
flip that up back up for 50. Done. There we go. So that looks cool now. The binary effect may be a, it's a little bit odd on there, but that's okay. Okay, and then we also have, uh, let's see, um, go to here, and then we'll put the toy frame and the confetti on this guy. Yeah, toy frame and the confetti. There we go. And this one was up for 10, I believe. That's good, and then we don't have anything for this one right now, but uh, I will eventually get some more um, as I'm, you know, doing stuff in the game. You 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 will get more art coins. You can use to buy more frames and effects. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna find another picture, and I will make something else while uh, while we're waiting for someone to come and buy our stuff. So yeah, let me find something, and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And um, so I found myself something that I want to make, and um, I also switched to a different server. So that's another thing that I wanted to mention is you want to try and be on a server where there's a good mix of people who have bought and sold a lot, then you're more likely to get people purchasing from you. Yeah, um, I, I have a picture now, so I'm just going to make it. And uh, it's just, you, you, you can't see what I'm doing, but you'll see it as I go. It's just a skull with a candle on its head. So something kind of simple. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to it. And like, I guess, so the main thing is when you're making these pictures is that you wanna start with the outline and then work your way around. And once you fill in the whole outline, then you start you know, working on the middle portions. So you'll see as I go. Um, and then you also have to make sure that you have enough space. So if your picture is on a grid, then you can count the grid spaces to make sure that you've got enough space. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to get going on this. All right, so there we go. So a similar sort of idea to this guy over here, same kind of background, but it's a much simpler picture. And actually, uh, this needs to be not that color. There we go. So yeah, similar sort of idea, but a little bit different. Um, simpler, actually. But yeah, background, like the background makes a big difference, in my opinion. So. I think you should definitely go for backgrounds and like you could even do something like um, if you had spray paint you could uh, you could spray paint the middle of the eyes a little bit red you can you can kind of do that here um, with just regular dots if you want to regular pixels just you know that's kind of okay but uh, I'm just gonna leave it hollow and yeah so that's basically it so this one I'm gonna say with the exception of this over here. I'm not sure what happened here. Always double check your, your work to make sure that you don't, that you haven't missed anything. But uh, I'm gonna call this one done. So that's that, and then we'll just call this Skull Candle or something. 
And yeah, so now we have a backup piece of art in case somebody buys one of these. And yeah, so you just keep keep doing that. Make make different pictures and eventually someone will come along and buy your stuff and uh, or maybe even just tip you. Um, at the very least, you know, they'll like what you're doing. Um, in the meantime, you know, the other thing you can do is just kind of run around and see what other people are doing and, you know, like stuff if you think that it's worth liking. I tend to to like stuff that looks like people have just, you know, made their own freestyle things or um, things that are not as obviously scripted. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. But this is cool. Yeah, these are all good. But yeah, you can't like things too fast, otherwise that happens. Hey, this is neat. I would probably buy this on my other account for three. That's pretty good. So yeah, once you get to a point where you, you start making some Robux, you know, you can buy stuff like this and put it at your stand and sell it. Um, probably sell this one for 10 and make a, a, a little bit of a profit. But it also makes people happy. And it also brings up your bot amount, which shows people that you're also engaged in buying and not just selling. So that helps too. So yeah. Now we just kind of play the waiting game. And that's the other thing that I wanted to talk about is AFK. So I would say that like I in, on my other account, I, I do go AFK a lot. Having said that though, I don't think that going AFK is really necessary. You will more likely sell stuff if you're around than if you're AFK. The biggest sales that I've made have always been when I'm around to, you know, thank people or whatever. You can AFK if you want, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference in the long run. So, you know, do do what you feel there. I'm going to try and get some more frame effects here. Um, maybe frames, not frame effects. Vine. Uh, <laughs> not great. So unfortunately, we didn't really sell anything this time, but this video was mainly just to show you guys how to get set up and what you should do to set yourself up for some sales. So in the next video, I will probably just do some more drawings, uh, paintings, and we'll see if we can get some sales. In the meantime, I'm not going to AFK, uh, at least at the beginning. So that's it for this one. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully next time we will we will see some action. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.